Right, I'm doing the uh, seats now for my early TR4 uh, and uh, I've got the pad kits and everything and uh, Rumor Brothers kindly sent these instructions which bear no relation at all to my car the, and the horsehair pads and all. The, the instructions don't relate at all. This is, this is what I've taken off, you can see that there's a, a, a section in the sec there and these actually uh, will wrap all around. I'll, I'll superimpose this onto the seat in a minute and show you and um, these are all the parts that I've got ready uh, with all the padding. This, the padding is for the, the uh, base, seat base and this half moon shape which is already cut out um, I'll superimpose that on later on. That's the the old covers fitted on just to give me an idea of uh, how everything goes. The the cutouts here I'll do in a, in a moment but I'll get the pad out now uh, and get it ready. You can see where the old padding the old padding is I took off uh, to round off the corners. Let's deal with the uh, the new parts. There I am. This is the adhesive supplied by Rimmer Brothers, and uh, just 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 applying it with with a brush, uh, a thin layer at a time, getting it nice and nice and sticky. Um, then I'll apply the same to this uh, shaped part and stick them on left and right. Show you that in a second when it's on. That's it glued on. Uh, up, to, bring it up to the edge. This section, I was a bit of an overlap, so I took the section out. Um, time will tell whether I'm right or not, but uh, that is ready now for the outer one to go on. And uh, I've marked out at the bottom. Uh, it says to two inches from the base. So I put a bit of masking tape with some little arrows on to make sure that I trim it to the right. I'm just looking at the, the new horsehair or simulated horsehair cover here. This is the one side and you can see that, that is quite coarse and uh, turned it over and this side is relatively smooth so I'm going to make a, an executive decision here and I'm going to keep the smoother side on the side where the covers are going to go. Uh, so I hope I'm right. But uh, that side is, is ready to receive the outer part. I'll just offer it up and do a, a temporary fixing on it. That's now I've applied the adhesive to the surface of that horseshoe shaped section. I've done it along the edge and I've applied it to the coarser side of the outer matting there. Uh, I've put a little bit in the centre to try and hold it but um, I'll now apply it. There is, There seems to be quite a, an overlap but until I've got that on I, I'll snip it and, uh, and try and shape it round. Now looking at, at this I it's varying from about two and a half inches at the top there it's about two inches and on that side it's about three inches so I think I'll err on the on the side and keep everything about three inches because as you can see this is uh, well oversized the top there is about right that's about right. So I've got to really trim this uh, to the three inches and then see how I get on. There it is marked with tape. The the inside edge, uh, so I'll cut and the cut the tape away so I'm not leaving anything behind. You can see the shape as it comes around there. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Um, these bits that are sticking out will be pulled back in when I when I glue the wadding on. So we've got a, as you can see on the, let's turn the old one over. You see where the wadding goes on. 
and the, on the inside here and then round there to soften those edges off ready for the top to go on the vinyl cover or the leather cover that's the that's the cover over it's ready for the top to go on uh, I've just covered that with a very thin plastic sheet which will help everything to slip on that's the cover on loosely the bottom part you see this strip this is a piece of uh, three ply wood that goes inside tucks underneath there it's fixed to the, the metal and then the uh, bottom edge of this is is uh, is then pinned or stapled to the wood and I'll show you right uh, this is the uh, the piece of three ply uh, 760 long 40 mil wide there's two new ones for the both the seats uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, because I, of pulling the back tight I'm going to I'm going to cut out some as I've got a sheet of this uh, ply I've got plenty of it I'm going to cut a put a piece in there and another piece another piece down the side then when I pull it tight I can staple that in and uh, check that it's tight enough before I fix it permanently uh, if I feel that the the uh, because it's, it's only uh, very very thin ply uh, I may even leave it on um, it won't show underneath but it will allow me to um, pull the tight pull it tight um, and belt and braces glue and staple well there's the thin three ply wood on there I assume that because the these strips which are as standard are good enough for the inside for stapling then this will be as well uh, it, it protrudes below the swaging um, it, this is a base that I've made myself the old one was absolutely cracked uh, uh, really ruined so uh, fortunately I've got the equipment to remake this so that's what I've done yeah, you can learn from my mistake uh, I tried because it's very flexible I tried bending it uh, it to fit into the the back and it just snapped so what I did I put them into a piece of old plastic drain pipe uh, of a suitable diameter and then put the end of my kettle boiled the kettle for a, a minute or so and quickly while it was still hot formed it round uh, the old bent wood it melts the the adhesive slightly and allows it to bend that's the the back on all I've got to do now is to glue this part and then I can stretch it get it really warm and stretch it over so that that is, is wrinkled but with it glued I can pull that round uh, that side I've left loose so you just glue that in pull it tight and uh, there's a bit of give on that but with use obviously leaning back on it that will uh, bring it in but the, there's no the seams are, are nice and there's no loose parts uh, what I did I put it on temporarily and then packed it out in anywhere that I could see that was a bit floppy so I just packed a little bit more of the kapok in so just got to uh, try the seat in that's my next job doing the seat